in this video I will be showing you guys how to make a Philly cheesesteak out of mushrooms and it's one of my favorites so I will start that now. Okay here I have just some whole white mushrooms because my options were that or brown mushrooms that, those were my only options so I am just going to wipe these off to clean them. Um, when you wash mushrooms, they hold on to a lot of the moisture. So if you don't want a lot of moisture, don't wash them underwater. I'm just cutting them into stereotypical shape. And this is what they look like all cut up, that whole thing. That's a good amount. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this melting in that pan. And then I will click back in. Okay, and I have this half onion that I'm also going to slice and then probably slice in half so I keep like some big pieces to it. Like straight down like that for a slice. And then I'm going to just cut it in half. So I just keep these nice size pieces. Now I'm going to do that with the rest of this onion. Okay, so this oil is warm now. And I'm going to add all these onions and mushrooms. My heat is at a medium. I'm just making sure all these vegetables are coated a little bit in the melted butter. Now I'm just going to let those cook down. Okay, so um, I forgot. I'm also going to add these. They, it's a roasted pepper and onion mix from Schwann's. And um, it's not because I'm too lazy to cut peppers. I just cut an onion and mushrooms. I just really like the flavor that this has. And probably because they're roasted peppers and onions. Um, so I'm going to add some of these because this pepper... The peppers in this give it that real, like, Philly steak flavor. So, I'm gonna add that to that pan right back there. Sounds good. Probably added a little bit more than half the bag. So if you don't have that pepper and onion mix, then you would probably use a whole bell pepper. Um, and then maybe just a whole onion, because I used half onion, but I knew I was going to be using that mix. So um, yeah, probably like a whole onion and a whole pepper. I guess it also depends on your preference. I really love onions and peppers, so I could probably just do onion and pepper sandwich. Um, but the mushrooms definitely are great. They add that meaty texture, um, which sounds gross, but it's good. So, anyway. Since this is cooked down quite a bit now, I can add the garlic. You don't want to add it at first because it can burn easier. I think I'm just going to stick with one spoonful for that. Now this right here, this is just pure laziness, okay? This is different. Have you cut it in, cut garlic? I have. It's hard. Your fingers smell good for a while after, but that's the only benefit, okay? It's hard. Look. 
piece there. Not for me. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Ah! Camera got fogged up from the steam. Delicious. Okay. Hair looks crazy. Um, I have the this bread. You can use any bread that you want. And I am just going to cut these in half and throw them around a little bit. You know, that's it's just a really good thing to do to your bread, you know, just toss it around sometimes, show it who's boss. I can never cut this bread right, like I always smush it down, even if I use This knife that's supposed to be for cutting bread. Okay, but I'm not gonna go all the way through. I'm gonna try to just leave it like that. Got the kids' size, it's those small ones. Not all the way through, like I said. I guess I like that knife does work a lot better. You're probably wondering what that noise was. My cat keeps scratching the door frame by our door. So if when I, if I make that noise, he gets really like freaked out and he'll stop. So that's what that was. I'm just kind of portioning this into four portions in the pan. And then for theirs, we do that. And like that. I'll show you for a small one. And then this one is mine. And then these go back into the oven. 
Okay, so since I don't do melted cheese on mine, I put some veganaise in a zip bag and cut the tip of it off. And then I just squeeze it over like that. And that gives you enough creaminess. It's kind of like the cheese sauce. And then I also like to do a little bit of Dijon mustard. You just want to do it like a little if you're going to do this, otherwise it overpowers it. Then I am also going to do a side of cucumber. And this is the finished product. Vegan Philly cheese steak, onion rings, and cucumber. If I'm going to have something like this, I like to balance it out with something like this. Okay, and now I'm sure you guys all want to see me taste it. I'm not sure if I can. So good. Like I said, if you do the mustard, try to be careful. If because the mustard's not on a Philly cheese, I just like to add it for that dimension of flavor. Mm. I love sauteed peppers and onions. So, yep, super delicious. Um, I hope that you try this recipe. I hope that you love it. I sure do. It satisfies my, like, satisfies what I remember Philly cheese steak tasting like. And obviously no harm was done during the making of that Philly cheese steak. So, yeah, it's really good. and. I don't feel too guilty about eating it because it's a vegetable sandwich. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all I really had to say. Like I said, pairing it with some onion rings and some cucumber, which. Cucumber is delicious. But if you have anything that you would like to see me try to make vegan, um, or any vegan recipes that you would like to share with me, leave it in the comments below. And I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you make it and I guess I will see you when I see you. Bye.